this is Jeffrey Pepper Rogers here with a lesson on cross picking accompaniment. Cross picking is a great way for those of us who play with a flat pick to create the kinds of flowing single note sounds associated with fingerstyle guitar. The cross picking technique has its roots in bluegrass as a way to emulate finger picked banjo rolls. But you can apply the basic idea to any style. For accompaniment, cross-picking allows you to go beyond strumming block chords and achieve a much lighter, airier sound. Aside from sounding great, uh, cross-picking is great for your picking hand technique. It provides really good practice in skipping over strings, using alternating picking, uh, and just generally becoming more precise with the pick. So in this lesson, we'll take a simple chord progression and uh, work through several cross-picked variations. First, here's a short progression in C that might remind you of Paul Simon's The Boxer. Use the alternating bass strum style here, uh, picking a bass note and then strumming a chord using all downstrokes toward the floor. Uh, on the C and the F chords, uh, move your ring finger between the higher bass note and the lower bass note. So on the C, that's a, on the 5th string, and on the 6th string, and on the F, that's on the 4th string, and the 5th string. Those are the alternating bass notes. One, two, three, four. So now let's start sprucing up that pattern with cross-picking. Uh, in the next example, I'm replacing many of the quarter note chord strums with two single eighth notes played on the third and second strings. Uh, to play these eighth notes, you need to make a quick jump from the bass note uh, with a pick up to the third string. If you have trouble uh, hitting that third string accurately and in time, just slow the example way down and, uh, until you can play it cleanly and then gradually, incrementally bring it back up to tempo. So in this, uh, I'm going to use alternating down-up picking for each pair of eighth notes. So uh, down on the third string, up on the second string. And uh, after that upstroke on the second string, the hand is already moving back toward uh, getting in position to hit the next bass note. Let all the notes ring as long as possible and let them overlap, because that will make the single notes sound more like chords. One, two, three, four. You'll notice in there that I've changed the A minor to an A minor 7 with the open 3rd string. And I just added that 7th, the G on the open 3rd string, because it sounds nice to repeat the, that figure of the G on the 3rd string, C on the 2nd string. 